Chris Maxwell with the Kite Loft. Today, we're going to learn how to fly a stun kite. In this segment, we're going to show you how to land your how to land your kite and properly store it and put it away once you're done flying. As you can see, we've been flying our kite. We've perfected how to do the figure eights and loops and dives. And you're tired and you're ready to go be done. We're going to focus on how to land your kite. Remember the wind window we talked about earlier? Well, this is where it's really going to come into play. What you're going to do is you're going to take your kite over to the edge of the wind window where it pulls least strong. I'm going to do this to my left. You're going to take your kite down towards the ground. Tip the no nose north and walk towards your kite and set it down just like that. We've certainly learned how to pick the right kite. We've learned how to work the wind window, launch your kite, fly your kite, do loops, dives, figure eights, and all kinds of fun stuff. Now at the end of the day, you're ready to clean up, pack it away, and get ready to go next time. Remember the winder that we took it out and unwound our line with at first? Now's when it comes back into play. All you do, just take your kite straps, put them in the knocks of your winder, and for you sailors out there, you're going to wind it very much like a boat cleat. Put your finger between your kite lines, wind it under the winder, over, under, over, and repeat this process all the while keeping your finger between the line. What this does is prevent tangles, keeps your lines from twisting, and makes setting up next time a whole heck of a lot easier. I'm going to continue this process all the way towards the kite, and when we get there, we're going to disassemble the kite the same as we did in reverse order in setting it up. I hope this instructional video has been good for you. I know I had a lot of fun, and so remember, go out there and fly a kite.